Today I will show you how to convert that pyruvate to oxaloacetate here. So to do that I need ATP. This is the one requirement. I need carbon dioxide and I also need that uh, three portion that means pyruvate carboxylase. So here what will happen you can see here pyruvate is three carbon molecule and here oxaloacetate is, is uh, four carbon molecule so uh, I need to do <clears throat> like uh, three plus one carbon so it will produce four carbon so here we need to add carbon dioxide so we cannot add that carbon dioxide from like uh, grab carbon dioxide and add to pyruvate and it will produce like uh, oxaloacetate we cannot do that so what will uh, we will need to do that uh, we need to ATP to activate that bicarbonate and this bicarbonate will react with pyruvate carboxylase so I need a coenzyme for that so like a coenzyme like a biotin here you can see so I need uh, first thing if I uh, recapsulate that I need ATP I need bicarbonate and also for doing pyru pyruvate carboxylase I need coenzyme and here we can use biotin so three reaction will happen and finally we will get oxaloacetate right so let's see what will happen so here you can see ATP will react with bicarbonate and here ADP will be byproduct and we will produce that phosphorylated carbon dioxide and the second reaction will remove that phosphorus and we will produce carbon dioxide but one addition thing is that this is activated activated carbon dioxide so all purpose to do that to activate that carbon dioxide so that it can react with uh, biotin here so here you can see i use biotin and this is the formula of biotin and i will use that uh, side this is the reactivated side of biotin and uh, so i will not uh, write down the whole formula here so i take that things and just write that biotin part this is the reactivated part of biotin so it will attached to that carbon dioxide but how like that and it will produce this compound and uh, this is the activated form of carbon dioxide now and uh, now what will happen you can see here pyruvate right so pyruvate will react with base and uh, uh, it will give electron like that and it will produce negative charge here and uh, we can produce this form to this form and here this uh, creates the negative charge and we have here positive charge so this negative charge or electronegativity will react with this part of that compound and this electron will shift to here and it also produce the biotin so you may look like this part here so it will produce like here will be a double bond and this will be negative charge here so it is similar to biotin so it will produce biotin here and uh, finally you can if you just mark on that carbon so this carbon will just react with that part and it will produce like that so 
this compound is known as oxaloacetate or we can write like that OAA so oxaloacetate uh, is produced and here you can see that 3 carbon produced uh, 4 carbon and we need here ATP to activate that carbon dioxide and we need to biotin as a coenzyme here so so here you can see that uh, how we can make pyruvate to oxaloacetate so one more information about that reaction is that the, if this is our cell human cell if this is the nucleus and here you can see the mitochondria so most of that energy is formed as ATP in that part mitochondria and glycolysis you know I think you know glycolysis here so it will uh, happen in cytoplasm this part and pyruvate pyruvate produce this part glycolysis so uh, to go to the citric acid cycle we need to produce oxaloacetate so to do that we need to convert acetyl CoA and then we can add this mitochondria and continue that uh, cycle as cy uh, citric acid cycle so here you can see that uh, we can also produce pyruvate here to oxaloacetate so this is the purpose of that video i think you can understand uh, better understand i think so okay see you